Hendrik Felipe Moreira de Souza, or for those who may struggle to pronounce longer Brazilian names, simply Hendrik, the next superstar in the never-ending machine of Real Madrid's youth recruitment. Following Vinicius Jr.'s footsteps, Hendrik will join Real Madrid in the summer of 2024 as a teenager with a huge cost, high expectations, and an enormous pedestal. But is he really worth the big price tag? Has Real Madrid taken a huge gamble with this unproven 17-year-old commodity now worth over 60 million euros? Now before we answer that question, why not make a safe bet by hitting that like button, subscribing to this channel, and ringing the bell for notifications. Now let's go spend 60 million on Endrick. Endrick the Wonder Kid Sobrar, Breno Lopes dividindo, voltou para o Hendrick, bateu! Gol! O Veiga conseguiu dominar, Hendrick partiu, lançamento para ele, posição legal, invadiu, veio o goleiro pela madeira! As of the making of this video, Hendrik made his first goal for his national team Brazil. He's got a shooting opportunity and the follow-up is in. And it's Hendrik, the 17-year-old. Scoring the winner in a one-on-zero victory against the three Lions of England in Wembley, making him the youngest person to ever score at that ground for club or country. This has given the teenager a new level of hype ahead of his summer move to the Bernabeu. But what is it about him that would make the La Liga giant splash that much cash on this rising star? Well, for that, we need to go back to the start of his career in Brazil. This summer won't be the first time he links up with Real Madrid. He was a fan of Los Blancos growing up, and when he was only 8 years old, he trained in a Real Madrid camp at Aguas Claras with his buddies. He joined the Palmeiras youth team when he was 11 years old and scored 165 goals in 169 games in his 5 years there. The crowning achievement came in the 2022 Copa Sao Paulo de Juniores, the youth team tournament for teams in the Sao Paulo area. In this tournament, he bagged 8 goals in 7 games, catapulting Sao Paulo to the title with ease and winning the Player of the Tournament award. This also marked the moment he began getting the attention of international teams. On 18 March 2022, Hendrik was called up to the Brazilian U-17 team to compete in the 2022 edition of the Montego tournament in France. Hendrik led Brazil to victory in the tournament, their first since 1984, with five goals in four games, including a goal against Argentina in the championship game. He was also awarded best player of the tournament. Hendrik was initially included in Brazil's U-20 squad for the 2023 South American Youth Championship in Colombia. Sadly, Hendrik would not be a member of Brazil's winning team because his club Palmeiras decided not to release him. They did not want him to miss the beginning of their preseason, which fell in the tournament's January and February dates. In Palmeiras' 4-on-0 league victory over Coritiba on 6 October 2022, Hendrik made his senior professional debut as a second half substitute. He was the youngest player to play for the Palmeiras' first team, having turned 16 years, 2 months and 16 days old. A couple weeks later, on the 25th of October, he scored his first two goals in a 3-on-1 victory over Atletico Paranese, making history as the second youngest striker in Serie A history for Brazil. After a 4-on-0 home victory over Fortaleza on the 2nd of November, Hendrik went on to win his first trophy with the first squad, taking the league title with three games remaining. In the game, he netted his third goal in seven outings as Palmeiras won their 11th league championship in club history. Hendrik was chosen as the Serie A's most promising player at the conclusion of the season. He was listed by The Guardian on 11 October 2023 as one of the world's top football players born in 2006. Hendrik scored two goals and added an assist in a 4-on-3 comeback victory against Botafogo on the 1st of November 2023, following a season-long goal draw. Palmeiras moved three points behind leaders Botafogo in a pivotal victory for the championship. After scoring a goal in a one-on-one -on -one away tie with Cruzeiro on the 6th of December, Hendrik's Palmeiras team secured their second straight league title, moving them two points clear of second-place Grimio. 
With 11 goals in the regular season, he became the second highest goal scorer among under 18 players in Serie A. At the time, he also made his competitive senior debut for Brazil, making history as the team's youngest player to be capped since 1994 when Ronaldo did so. It makes sense why similarities between them have persisted ever since. Hendrik was clearly letting his star shine as a 16-year-old, and that star would soon be noticed by a team, who a summer before won the UEFA Champions League for the 14th time in the final against Liverpool. Real Madrid Interest Real Madrid declared on 15 December 2022 that they had agreed on a deal with Hendrik's family and Palmeiras, which would allow them to sign him in July 2024 when he turns 18. The clubs did not reveal the official signing cost, However, it was said to be an extensible three-year contract for a fixed sum of 60 million euros plus 20 million euros in taxes. Nevertheless, according to some other sources, the payment was set at 35 million euros, with the remaining 25 million euros being contingent upon meeting certain sporting goals. How Real Madrid won the bidding war for Endrick As said earlier, Endrick had attracted attention from clubs since he was 15 years old. And while Don Carlos' men eventually got his signature, they were not without competition. Hendrik's representative Federico Peña has now disclosed the teams that Real Madrid had to contend with in order to acquire the young Brazilian player who is expected to cause waves throughout the world. Teams like Chelsea, Manchester City and Liverpool sent scouts to the Montegui competition. The belief was that Chelsea, out of the three English teams, put in the biggest effort to acquire the wonder kid. Following an invitation to the Blues Cobham training base, Thiago Silva, Jorginho, and Captain Cesar Azpilicueta, all of whom speak Brazilian, met Hendrik's parents. The family visited a local church where the club was located, according to Federico Pena via the Telegraph. Before negotiations went down due to the club's reluctance to spend a sizable sum of money on a player they would not even acquire for two more years, Chelsea had appeared to be among the top contenders to sign him. Conversely, Real Madrid has prior experience with these kinds of agreements, having naturally negotiated on like terms to bring Vinicius Jr. to the Santiago Bernabeu. They were therefore in a good position to make a move, which they did, and Hendrik is now on his way to the capital of Spain, where he is predicted to have one of the most prosperous careers in recent history. The right decision? In the football world, spending big bucks and writing big checks on young players like Hendrik is nothing unusual. Real Madrid has been putting effort into their youth team and Hendrik, following the arrival of Jude Bellingham and fellow Brazilians like Vini and Rodrigo, it's clear he's a good investment. Could they have waited? Yes, but them getting him now means no other club gets him for at least the next five or six years. Florentino Perez has made it his intention to form a new team of Galacticos, and Hendrik fits into that vision. Also, the emergence of Lamine Yamal in Barcelona has meant Real Madrid needs their own wonder kid to counter and fight back. Yamal and Hendrik look to be a pair that'll tear up La Liga in the coming years. Yes, Hendrik is worth his transfer fee. At his age, he has racked up nearly 200 goals in total. It's clear Real Madrid wanted to secure him and not miss out on this Brazilian rising star like they did before with Neymar Jr. Hendrik will also be an effective asset for Real Madrid since he doesn't need to start every game. His stats and performances prove it. His left foot is deadly and powerful like Messi's. This is a coup for Real Madrid. Lastly, Real Madrid is a club with deep pockets, no financial issues like their rivals Barcelona, so if it doesn't pan out as expected, they can cut their losses. If Eden Hazard, Real Madrid's worst gambler ever, didn't kill them, Hendrik definitely won't. And that's the end of the video. Do you agree with our assessment? Do you think Hendrik is the next secret weapon, or has Real Madrid just wasted 60 million euros? Let us know what you think in the comment, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.